this video we're going to check out the PolyN Tracker and the 1.7 firmware. So in the last video I tried a couple of tempo experiments but I didn't realize there's actually in the menu here press config and then go to this menu go down to MIDI and then choose clock sync correction. So right now if I go into our pattern I have a little click track here. Now it's kind of low in volume, but hopefully you can hear it. And then here's the other one. So hopefully that's loud enough because what we're going to do is we're going to try different tempos and see what happens. So they're at the same rate in each sequencer. We're going to press play here. So we're at a very slow tempo. Let's see. Yeah, like 26 BPM. You can hear it's not in sync. So let's go to config, clock sync correction, change. Now let's choose one and apply. So now I'm going to press play. That sounds spot on. There's this one and then that. So you can hear them. Those are synchronized, definitely. Let's go slower just to see. So these are very slow tempos and it's hitting exactly the same time. Then we can speed up and we're going to go crazy in the tempo here. But as you can hear, it's all ticking at the same time. We're going to go really fast now, so it's probably going to get a little louder. But hear that? It can keep up. It's keeping up with every click. Back down. Let's go slow again just to see what happens here. That's heading spot on. Let's go back into config. So there's different values you can try. One worked for me. So it might work differently depending on what clock's being sent out. Let's just try two just so we can hear the difference. And it's not going to apply this until I press play again. So you can hear it's off. Let's just go to three and see what happens there. Play. Now it's still off. You can hear the clocks are not synced. Let's go back. Let's go back to one and then go to pattern. Let's check it out. Exactly on time. And then let's go really slow. It's hitting spot on. So hopefully that helps and uh, to, so hopefully that can help you guys that want to synchronize as a slave. It seems to be working just fine on my end with the direct MIDI in from Deluge. So stay tuned. I'm going to be working on PolyN Tracker Bootcamp Episode 1.